Hey guys, I wanted to make this video as a cautionary tale that if the deal is too good to be true, it is probably not true. It's more likely to be a scam and you have to be very careful. Also, on a side note, you should treat Walmart employees better. Uh, I will go into detail about that a little later in the story. So essentially, a guy finds a Craigslist post. There's about, I estimate about $40,000 of magic cards in this collection buy list at least 20,000 and he talks to the dude the dude wants only $1,500 $1,500 for a let's say $40,000 collection of magic the gathering cards obviously that is a good deal so they are trying to figure out how to negotiate and what the price is he even rips a card to show him the blue core which is not really a good indicator anymore so he doesn't want to use paypal the guy the buyer has just got a refund from his school of a thousand dollars and he is going to a walmart trying to get a money gram the walmart says hey you're an idiot the walmart employee and the manager is like hey you're an idiot and we protect idiots from being scammed so that's what happened and then he went to a second Walmart and the first Walmart also told the second Walmart that this dude's coming in and he's an idiot his name is Joseph so that's what happened he was banned from the second Walmart the guy still doesn't get it um, he doesn't understand if a Walmart employee can realize this is a scam and not know anything about Magic the Gathering cards you probably are the idiot so he comes back and says, no, what, the second one was, no, we're not going to take the check. We're just not going to take the check. So after this, he then goes to a second, a third convenience store to get, again, a check. So he goes there and finally gets the check with no problems. I mean, he was ex easy, either extremely greedy or I don't know why. Because if two Walmarts are going to tell you, hey, this is a scam, and you don't listen and then you go and to a convenience store and you actually do get the money gram pretty uh, dedicated so anyway he then talks to his wife so he has a wife who is encouraging this behavior i guess or at least knows about it and they realize he is a scammer he has scammed video goods a video game before uh vincent paget uh vincent's like nah that's not me I don't live in, you know, I live in California, which is the best, you know, excuse ever. <laughs> you don't, that people can't move states and stuff. But regardless, um, he's like, oh, well, you know, you're not going to send the money anyway. Why? At this point, the scam is apparent to the person being scammed. And it took a long time to get there. But I think something, you know, wow, like, I hope he's not in business school, and that's not what a refund of his money is. He took his student refund to try to be scammed, and then Walmart's like, dude, you're being scammed. So he went to a second Walmart. The second Walmart's like, hey, you're being scammed. Then he went to our middle-of-nowhere convenience store to get a $1,400 check from a convenience store. Anyway, he still doesn't know he's been scammed because he says, I almost... So one of two things happened. I either got scammed of... He was going to get scammed or I was going to make, you know, $20,000. So very, very weird behavior and not atypical for Magic players. I think the greed got the best out of him. If we were all in that situation where we had to come up with money to get $40,000, I think we will all be very mad at the Walmart employee and for not, like, letting us get scammed, I guess. Overall, leave me a comment below. It is a interesting, interesting, um, it is so interesting, this story, because it shows, uh, A, the greed, and B, you have to be careful, guys. If it's too good to be true, guess what? It is probably a scam. And I say that with, um, you know, I say that as a warning to you guys, because this scenario, although we can find it hilarious and unrealistic, the scenario 
is an actual scenario that does play out and it is because hey my fifteen hundred dollars and my fourteen hundred dollars can instantaneously become forty thousand i need to be that's how a scam works it's a little too good to be true anyway take care guys and have a happy halloween and i will catch you tomorrow bye